Happy Easter, everyone! My name is Rian Angeles, and welcome to the Holy Week special of Pathways of Hope. For this Easter Sunday, our word focus is light. The word light and many other expressions of that word light appears in the Bible for about 200 times. In Genesis, visible light appears in the Bible as the first thing God created, marking the very beginning of life. In many instances in scripture, light is an expression of life. Light is also often expressed as a revelation of truth or a guide. It is the natural characteristic of visible light to reveal to the eyes what cannot be seen in the dark. In Psalm 119, His word is a lamp to my feet and a light for my path. Light is expressed as a guide and as a revealer of truth. Later on in the New Testament, Christ declared himself as the light of the world and have repeatedly expressed this. I have come as light into the world that whoever believes in me may not remain in darkness. This Easter Sunday, as we celebrate the resurrection of Christ, it would be good for us to remember the victory of light over darkness. The days leading to the resurrection of Christ were filled with agony, suffering, and grief. We can see how darkness must have enveloped the hearts of the disciples of Jesus as they watched him get mocked, tortured, killed, and buried in a tomb. Everything they believed in lay lifeless and sealed in the dark. Are there moments in your life when all that you know, all that you believed in, and all that you hoped for were destroyed and taken away from you? Are there areas in your life that feel like they're overcome with darkness and fear? The hope of Easter is this. The resurrection story tells us that on the third day, the light of dawn illuminated the walls of an empty tomb. Light has taken over darkness. The tomb is open and empty. Darkness could not contain the true source of light, which is Jesus Christ. What is a fitting response for us as we celebrate Easter Sunday? A simple answer would be to let the light of Christ overcome any darkness in your life right now. Is it easy? Of course it's not. But this is where faith comes in. We know that even after seeing an empty tomb, it was difficult even for the disciples to see it as a moment of victory. Often when we've spent so much time in darkness, despair, and lies, it takes a while for our spiritual eyes to clearly see the light. Even the disciples of Christ did not immediately see what they had to see in the tomb. They did not understand immediately for they did not yet understand the scripture that he had to rise from the dead. The reality is, there will be seasons in our life where it will be hard to recognize God's victory for us. But there is grace because God is willing to meet us where we are until our eyes of faith are opened. In this verse in Luke, it says, And it happened that while they were conversing and debating, Jesus himself drew near and walked with them, but their eyes were prevented from recognizing him. Jesus himself drew near and walked with them. It is Jesus himself who comes to us to meet us where we are and gives us the opportunity to recognize the power of his light to overcome anything in our lives. In what areas of your life do you need more of Christ's light? Perhaps areas of fears, doubt, confusion, loneliness, or hopelessness? Let us ask for the grace to recognize the victory of God for us. For the grace to let the light of Christ permeate every part of our lives. Let me end with this verse. But you are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation. God's own people, 
in order that you may proclaim the mighty acts of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. May you have a meaningful Easter.